beautiful people of the Most High God. So, this is a lesson to judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. All right? So, don't judge people on their outside appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Because, you know, in the last days, what does God tell you in Joel 2 and 28? And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions so you got to learn look what they did to Christ um and mark they didn't believe him because they were judging him upon his appearance and who they thought he was right mark 6 and 3 is not this the carpenter the son of mary the brother of james and Joseph, Joseph and Judah and of Judah and Simon and are not the not his sisters here with us and they were offended at him so that was them rebuking him but Christ said unto them a prophet is not without honor but is in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house and he could there do no mighty work save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them Okay, the people that you think God is giving the message is not really the same. Like the people that you esteem high in, in these church titles and who have these, you know, extravagant names and titles that are well off and well known. It might just be a story like Amos. All right. And you're going to know why I'm going to explain why God does this. Amos 7 and 14, then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was a herdsman and a gatherer of, sick of sycamore fruit. Continue, and the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. Now, that's what he, he was no prophet. God just called him. He was a herdsman, right? He was a herdsman and he gathered sycamore fruit. What was they say in crisis? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary? So they didn't believe him. And then that is why a prophet is with not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. So people in your country won't believe you, but people in other countries will. And people in your own house, your family, and even your friends won't believe you. But the people who are not in your family will. That's just how it's set up. They're going to be a part of your story. But why does God do does this? Because it's about trying your heart. Jeremiah 17 and 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the rigs, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So these people who God used... They're bearing fruit. Do you want to know? They're bearing fruit. I am the true vine. This is John chapter 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every tree, I mean every branch in me that bears not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. These people, God is rising up. They abide in him. Do you get it? Because God tries the hearts and the regs, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. He, they have to bear fruit. These people are bearing fruit. So that's why you should not judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. All right. Now, God tries the regs, right? And then it says again, Jeremiah 11 and 20. I'm going to read. But, O Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, that tries the regs and the heart, let, let me see thy vengeance on them. That's what Jeremiah said, because they didn't believe Jeremiah. They threw him in a dungeon. For unto thee have I revealed my cause. So Jeremiah wasn't believed around the men of Jer Jerusalem. Did you, did you read what they did to Jeremiah? They put him in a dungeon. Because what? A prophet 
is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And God wants you not to judge them when someone gives you a word by their appearance, okay? Because he's the one who tries their heart and they're bearing fruit to deliver that message to you, all right? Now, Jeremiah says it again in Jeremiah 20 and 12. But, O Lord of hosts, that tries the righteous and sees the regs and the heart, God looks at your heart and your regs. Let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Because the people didn't believe Jeremiah when Jeremiah was speaking to them when he had to go prophesy to them. Now, Psalms 26 and 2, David says, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my regs and my heart. You have to bear fruit. And now what God tells you right here. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the rings, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So we're going to leave this. I'm going to stop right here. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Okay, beautiful people of God. And any message you get anyways from anybody, you should take it up with fasting and praying and get confirmation from the Most High God. Just don't run with any wind of doctrine you hear. It got to be the word of God. All right. You, you take it up to the father. You have a blessed evening. Take care.